I will never forget the day I decided that I wanted to become the first female infantry officer in the United States Marine Corps. And I will always remember the night I was dropped from infantry officer's course. <laughs> Our class of about 50 Marines were hiking back home, or hiking back home from training. <laughs> the dirt road we were walking down was covered in snow and ice. Our packs were weighted down with gear. Our feet were bruised and blistered. Our water was frozen. We were so close to being home. But my legs seized up. I slowed down and eventually the group passed me. When I finished the hike and finally walked into our classroom, the other Marines were all waiting. The IOC director looked at me in silence and then informed me that he was dropping me for the, from the course for falling behind during the hike. Sitting in, on my bed in my barracks room that night, feeling defeated, uh, I couldn't help but cry. Then, my dad sent me a text. It's not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong woman stumbles, or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs to the woman who is actually in the arena. I read the whole quote with his added pronoun modifications <laughs> and smiled through my tears. He was right. It's not about the spectators on the sidelines. It's about the woman daring greatly, stepping outside of her comfort zone, walking through the fire. Life and my dad have taught me that courageous acts in and of themselves are the greatest achievements. Thank you.